What was Brad saying about the boys? You gotta let the grabs come to you. Wait, no, I messed it up. Start again. <laughs> you gotta treat grabs like boys. You let them come to you. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> come on, keep going. That's it. Roll over. <laughs> So I've been training and competing out here in Aspen for a while now, and I think it's about time for some time off, and looks like we're gonna be going to New York for a little cover shoot. We are here to shoot for the cover of Super L magazine, which I'm really excited about. It's always so different coming straight from a ski town because obviously New York is what you think of when you think of an urban environment and a not ski town environment. Love the luxurious aspect, love the busyness, love that everybody seems to have somewhere that they need to be. And I just kind of like the energy and the atmosphere here. Oh my God, I just deleted my whole TikTok that I was making. Yeah. Having stayed in a ski town for like the last month and a half, suddenly New York feels even more like amazing and sprawling and glamorous than someone who had been staying here the entire time. But on the other hand, you know, like skiing after New York is probably going to feel really refreshing and fun. So I feel like it's good. They balance each other out and it makes me enjoy everything just that much more. I'm so confused. It reminds me of like a honeycomb, you know, or like a, like a hive, like a beehive, which I know it's not supposed to look like. So sorry, New York, this is just the, <laughs> the tourist's perspective. I'm so nervous right now. No. Oh <laughs> my God. Modeling came pretty naturally to me once it did start happening and then that just started opening up more doors. It really started after Paris Fashion Week in 2019. That's kind of when I discovered that I really had an interest in fashion and I wanted to make an entrance into the fashion world from the ski world. Similarities, I would say, definitely the creative expression aspect and challenging yourself, stepping out of your comfort zone. Absolutely, both require a lot of confidence in yourself to be able to do, I think. In skiing, you have to trust yourself to be able to do a new trick or if it goes wrong to be able to maneuver out and fall in the best way. And in modeling, that's obviously a little bit different. Hopefully there's no falling involved, but you definitely have to learn about yourself and learn about where your angles are and what kind of expression you want to do. Different shoots have different vibes that you want to express. So I would say, the creative expression, the personal style, and a little bit of that adrenaline energy. I like how people just randomly cross the street. Like that scares me so bad. There's just literally cars and they're like, huh, nice. They're going under 30 miles an hour? That's fine, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> like, what? Whoa, well, I haven't been up this early and Weeks. I don't really like actively switch into a mode from like ski mode or modeling mode or running mode or eating mode or anything that I do. Anything that I do, I want to do it well and I want to do it to the best of my ability. Try to be as confident as possible. Maybe I'll do some power poses. <laughs> Oh, whoa. No wonder they wanted me to take my nails off. <laughs> I'm wearing a turtleneck and I don't want to mess up.
mess up the face makeup, so I think we're putting together a little changing room for me to put a robe on before we go into makeup. But I'm a little lost because they just left, so now I'm a little, a little confused about where to go. But someone will come collect me eventually. I'll just hang out here for a second. <laughs> Right, there's a lot of colors going here, but I think it'll be good. Like the clothes are, the color palette of the clothes is really exciting. So, I'm excited to shoot the first look. I think it's like a movement. I see a trampoline in the background, so we'll see what that means for me. Do we have, what kind of music do you want to listen to? I think it's, we got our playlist. You got it? <laughs> oh, now it's reviewed. Your playlist is reviewed. Yeah, I'm loving these. They're so cool. Like they, feel, it's fun to do when I'm doing it, but it's so cool seeing the actual pro. When I'm doing it, it feels like I'm just jumping around, you know. But these actually work really. really We're gonna do a little model walk competition here because grandma's getting a little feisty. How? Nana? Nana, you should like it. Oh, she's not Asia. Asia. She has it. Okay. I'm just going to show you some pictures. This is the first one. I'm going to show you. Who's that? Wow. Ah, <laughs> she said it looks like a torch. <laughs> this one she first said Eileen. It's E L L E C Eileen. <laughs> and then Yeah, And then she was like, wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> like a movie star, very elegant. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. <laughs> Very good. Very well, good. Very 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 really cool. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very it takes a lot more than you think it does to keep your face still in the air, all of your limbs in an elegant position. It's not just being high on the trampoline, but it's also positioning your body in the right way and keeping your face in the right way, which is easier said than done for sure. So I really like the color. Very, very youthful, I would say. And that's what my grandma's number one feedback was as well. I think women's skiing is in a state of progression. Bigger tricks are being done for the first time. It feels good to make finals, but I don't get a medal for qualifiers, I get a medal for finals, and so that's definitely what I'm focused on. 